this vintage old school GE clock radio. Model number 7-4648B. Production date unknown. I don't know, kind of screams 80s or 90s to me. We're going to go ahead and clean it up and see if it'll start up. Yeah, this has got all those good and crazy buttons and ridges that are great for the hand. But they get really, they get full of, of like dirt and grime. Quite a bit more than I would have liked there. Got in. And these sliders tend to have to go over them twice. There's a little spot there to clean out. Nice and clean. Not, nothing really going on on this side. Yeah, this, this right here knob has nice fine ridges on it that are a bear to clean. But somehow it knows, I thought it said made in Japan. The feet are rubber or stick-on type feet and they're still there, which is really impressive. I'm trying to not smoke that date code there. I, I, I hate to see the original labels damaged. And I may, on if I find some really incredible pieces, I may go ahead and just try to reproduce some labels if they're damaged, which I think I have one coming up with a damaged label that I wanted to reproduce. The back's coming nice and clean. And we're seeing more buried dirt down in those where the screws go in. I took this battery door off. You know, these old school battery backup for your clock things, like most people I think didn't use them and then when they did use them, they forgot the battery was in there, blew up or corroded it out. This one's mint. But there's nothing like opening up an old school radio or what have you to find that the battery is all corroded out. Especially if it's one that can run on battery. Then you got all this extra cleaning to do. So the battery, battery spot was good. These vents are surprisingly clean. Really, it always takes the takes the piece to the next level to go in there and and clean it out proper. And you know, improvising like with this. tool worked better than anything with the rag to get in there and clean it out. Whereas a Q-tip probably would have trashed out three or four there. Uh, looking at the front, I'm going to be careful with this plastic face because those, those, those take damage real easy. 
and also around the buttons uh, which are really crusty and then the speaker grill don't want to get stuff running down in there kind of have okay a little bit of a raised edge there the face came really clean there's sticker residue it's coming off sticker residue is another nightmare this may need a tiny tiny touch of goo gone Wow, that was, someone really lo loved setting and unsetting their alarm. Because those things are, those alarm set unset points, those buttons are nasty. I can hear that hitting a little speaker in there, so I'm trying to be careful. If you open this up, there's probably a speaker like that big in there. Plastic on plastic as opposed to metal on plastic will likely much less chance of causing damage. And I can see that you can't poke straight into where the speaker is, so this should be safe. Once again, I'll hit it again. So I know there's lots of dust in there. And then the most grimy part is honestly those buttons down there. Getting out and around these. And I'm hitting all the right sides, all the left sides, and all the top, all the bottom sides. And the four-way button of these four-sided buttons here. Probably set this upside down so that there's a little bit of cleaner in there. And I may blow it out, I may just let it set upside down and dry out. Yeah, those are those buttons are the worst part, that's for sure. Buttons came clean. <sighs> okay. And and strangely enough, dirt still lurks. I can see more dirt down in this. And you know, the thing is, even if someone cleaned this back in the day when it was in production use, no one cleans inside these speaker grates. So when you're dusting your stuff, this is where it happens to build up. So just think, 20 years from now, how those, you know, Alexas with the cloth and everything are going to look. And they're going to be all full of dust. Well, they probably won't work because they shut down the cloud, but you get the idea. So, uh, okay, yeah, she's really cleaned up nice and do the cord too. Yeah, this is this is quite the difference. Uh, there's very little wear and tear on this, even on the plastic display there's 
hardly any scratches. Cleaning the power cord up. Same deal as before. This rag is likely going to come away black. Pretty bad, but I've seen worse. Okay. There we go. Got that nice and clean. Real clean. Go over the cord again. One more time. working. Let's just do a quick test here of the alarm feature. And it pays to take a second look because there was still some dirt in there. Time set. Twelve oh two. Wake one set. Twelve oh four. Okay. She should alarm here in less than two minutes. But it's going to be shockingly loud. Almost like there's pain or something. Wow. Yeah, that's old school. Yeah, the volume knob is all scratchy and jumps. So I'll probably have to test the radio once I get my FM adapter set up so I'm not broadcasting copyrighted music. But overall, a really mint, for almost a really good condition piece. Um, may, or, may or may not open it up to clean out that uh, volume scratchiness. But um, it, it is working. Let me cut that alarm. It is working. You just have to mess with the volume knob a little, potentially. Uh, I'll probably check the value first, and if it's rare or high value, I'll refurb the volume knob. Otherwise, I'll just list it with a scratchy volume knob. The value of this small clock radio is only $30, so I decided against spending time to open the radio to examine and clean the volume knob. 
a top down look. The buttons cleaned up really nicely. Here's the featured photo for this, and it's looking excellent. It's looking great. The side with the volume knob has very little wear and tear overall. And the other side just has a few small scratches. Front has a few marks around the sliders, but overall it's looking great. A closer look at those top buttons, and you can see it's very clean now. The power cord is in excellent condition, which is always something important to check. Looking at the back, there's very little wear and tear. It's almost like new. Manufacturing date label is still intact. You can see the model number, power usage of 6 watts. Inside the battery compartment is nice and clean with no corrosion. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications.